Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22. Right, if you just give me one second guys, the first thing we're going to do this morning is we're just going to go under here and we're going to remove £5. And I'll tell you the reason why. I haven't technically installed a jet wash here, but we're just going to pretend that we did. I don't want to put a placeable in the shop and it, you know, be stuck there. Um, we, we cleaned the tractor. That is what we're going to... Uh, do with that today's right so these are my options today guys we have a cultivating job we have a fertilizing job and we have a sowing job now there are some other jobs liming jobs some plowing jobs sowing jobs um i'm gonna take that as well because we are going to buy a second tractor today now i'm not really a hundred percent sure which tractor we're going to buy um i have thought about it a little bit and I've... Oh, hang on a minute. Thank you to everybody in the Discord who also stated um, you didn't have... Um, oh, what do you call it? You couldn't find a fuel station either. Um, yeah, do massively appreciate that. So what we're just going to do, we're just going to buy a couple of these just to top the fuel up a little bit. And we're just going to go and put a little bit of fuel in. Now, we are going to go and do that cultivating job. I nearly said something else then. <laughs> I nearly said fertilizing job. Uh, yeah, we are going to go and do that cultivating job first thing today, guys. Because as soon as... It should be going in there. Yeah. Right, okay, I've got manual refill on, but because it's technically a jerry can, it's um, it's not doing it manually, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. So, yeah, we're going to go and do this cultivating job first. And the reason being, I do believe it's one of the smaller jobs. Um, and I feel that if we do this slightly... S <laughs> it's not that it's going to be a smaller job. We need about a thousand pounds. It will leave us with no money. This is going to be the thing. Um, we we can oh, we can live with no money for a little bit because we can put a worker in. Now we might not be able to pay the worker straight away. Um, you know we might have to like give it a little bit of time. You know do another job so to speak. But we are going to jump straight into this cultivating job in one two one, which I do believe. Is over here what's 119 what's 119 if I'm going 119 is a sewing job I haven't got a way to bring the sewing the sewing machine and yeah because one of the reasons why I'm gonna do it this way is field 100 is a plowing contract and I want to plough that field with a worker. I have adjusted the wages a little bit, things like that, um, just to make it a little bit more on the realistic side of the income because we are playing on the hard economy, so we don't make as much from the from the jobs in general. And, you know, we don't want to be spending, like, 10 grand on wages for a two grand job just because the wages are set stupidly high so they are lowered now field 100 would kind of be a, a tester um to what we can do job wise you know income wise and wages and stuff and i think it would be a really good test so i'm happy to lose if I put it on cosplay, for example, and I lose half of the money, I'm happy to lose... Actually, to be honest with you, I'm happy to lose... No, to be honest, half the money of the income. So if an income's worth 10 grand, I'm happy to lose 5 grand in wages. But I don't want to lose much more than that because you've got to think, well, I've got to repair the tractor, I've got to make a bit of income. This is so far away. I didn't realise this was so far away 
it, it doesn't look that far away on the map. That is the biggest problem. So I do apologize for the very long drive. If you notice, guys, I did also reduce the work hours on the Leyland. I'm not trying to hide anything. I said we were going to do that in the last episode. It is just because we don't want to be repairing the tractor every two hours. Um, IRL usage hour, basically. We don't want to be using it every uh, repairing it every two hours that's all it is nothing more nothing less i did try to give it loads of hours so it looked like we'd used it loads and you know it was second hand and i, I you know I, I want it to be a bit unreliable but i don't need it to be unreliable at, after every three jobs we we have to spend three grand to repair it um this yeah this we're gonna lose all our daylight just just going to this one job which is really annoying because the sooner we get this contract done, I can... I've been looking into what we can buy and I have decided we're going to buy the Renault tractor. It is technically the same price as the John Deere, but the Renault tractor gives us some other options. For example, it gives us a front three point, which we can buy at a later date. It gives us the option to buy a front weight at a later date um, it also gives us an option to upgrade the engine at a later date so that's kind of where i want to be and i think that's going to be a, a long-term tractor that we'll buy because we'll buy it with 100 brake horsepower we'll get a three point on it when we can we'll get the engine upgrade on it when we can we can basically boost that machine to about 145 brake horsepower I swear to God, I'm, I'm I'm going to end up restarting this video in a minute and just starting at this field because this is taking absolutely forever to drive it. Six minutes into the video and we haven't even arrived at the field. I could have, I sh could have, and I should have jump cutted it. I really should. I wish I'd have brought that trailer with me now. I really do. If we'd have brought the trailer with us, we could have maybe we could have maybe squeezed the um, maybe squeezed the the cultivator on the back of it. I also did forget something with the i4 Williams, guys. We were struggling yesterday to try and sit the um, fertilizer spreader on the back. Completely forgot that I could have just unfolded the uh, unfolded the tool and basically just drove up the back of it. <laughs> it's my own fault. I wasn't really thinking yesterday. I was a bit late recording yesterday. I'm a bit late recording today. I haven't done a trucking video today. I, I don't have time. I got up late. I had a real bad night's sleep last night. It was... Yeah, the, the wife was back in bed last night. And, yeah, she snores. You know, anyone who knows the story, she's going to a sleep clinic to try and get it sorted and things. But until she actually gets it sorted, I just, I just can't sleep with her at the minute. She's... It's just... It's just unfortunately... Uh, Hell. <laughs> Hell is the only word I can use to describe it, guys. I, I you know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be mean to the wife or anything like that. It is just a genuine case of she starts snoring and I, I physically just want to smother her. And not in a fun way. <laughs> I literally just want to, you know, pillow over face kind of thing. It's uh I love her to bits, but I also need sleep. And the night before, she did actually sleep on the sofa. She's like, look, I'll sleep on the sofa. And we did it as a test to, like, compare my sleep. And literally, I, I went to bed, like, not like last night, but, like, you know, the night before, going into Monday. And I wasn't even tired, but I went to bed. And it was the best night's sleep I'd had in years. And I'm talking years. Like, three hours deep sleep. Out of eight hours, my watch and my app my was like, yeah, perfect night's sleep, things like that. Last night, um, let's have a look. I got three hours, 52 minutes sleep for the entire night. Bear in mind, you know, it was like in bed for eight hours. It, it was absolutely crazy. Now, I am going to jump this into a time lapse, guys. And I will most likely drive us back. Did you know something? I kind of want to drive us back to the shop. But I also don't want to drive us back to the shop in the time lapse. Because I want to buy the Renault ASAP. 
I want to get the Renault bought so we can get the Renault working. So I'm, I'm like in a, I'm in a, I'm in a catch twenty two right now of what I want to do because oh I just thought something. I can't. Uh, I'm in a pickle. If I buy the Renault, he's gonna have to do a fertilizing contract because I'm not gonna have enough money to buy the plow at the same time. I need, I needed to have brought that trailer with me. So what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna. We'll do this headland, I'll put it in a time lapse. I'm gonna take us back to the shop in the time lapse. I'm probably gonna go and pick up the cedar and I'm gonna drive all the way back here and we're gonna start doing the next contract. Um, I, the maximum time I like for a time lapse is about three minutes, as you guys as you guys know, I don't like to I don't like to have them too long. Three minutes is basically fifteen minutes IRL for me. Um give you an idea that's that's one of the reasons why i like to do three minutes it gives me a, a rough idea of on the recording time I, I i do massively appreciate everybody at the moment and dropping the uh with the comments saying they actually appreciate the the way i've started this series yes i know it's a slow way to start the series but like you know it's like i've, I've always said it it's a way that nobody else has done it um and that's why I like it. But yeah, I'm going to put this into a time lapse, guys. And uh, I'll hopefully see you back over here with a seat. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to do this a slightly different way. There is another uh, cultivating field just come up. Field 53. That is relatively close to where we are. I'm going to go and do that field. I've, I've had a bit of a brainwave. Um, that, yeah. I, wa I was going to take us back to the shop. We're going to put a worker on this. We're going to go and buy the Renault. We're then going to go and do field 119, which is just here, with the cedar, which will then give us enough money to buy the plough. Then we can basically, from the next episode, we're going to start making money now. I know I know some people are like, oh, well, you're not making money quick enough. Like I say, it's not about making money super, super quick. It was about enjoying the map. It was about doing a different style of gameplay. And I have had some comments over the last day or two, you know, appreciating the fact that I've, I've done it a different way. They like the fact that I've now done it a different way because it's it's just a different way to what other people have done. This is I get so lost on this map though. I tell you what, Oxy did a fantastic job on this map, and I just get lost constantly. Um, the Renault I do also believe is a faster tractor as well, so I think we should maybe be looking at putting a worker on on this tractor. 
um, because what can I can do is I can put this on a on a job. I can drive it to a field, start the contract, for example, as I'm starting the episode. So you don't have to see me doing this. Um, this is one of the good things about getting our hands on a second tractor. But look at it this way: second tractor, second income. I reckon by the end of this week's worth of episodes, because technically it should be a roleplay episode again today, but I'm like I explained in the last episode, I've got uh, kids on holiday from school, and it's not always guaranteed to have peace and quiet. Um, I didn't even get peace and quiet during that time lapse, so to give you an idea, obviously I've got two autistic children, so it, it's it's hard. It's hard for them to stay quiet when they don't want to be. Put it that way. Um, I love my kids to bits. I'd never, you know. It just would be nice if I could have some peace and quiet when I needed a bit of peace and quiet. That's maybe the only that's the only thing I would like in, in, in life. But my youngest was like, nope, I want to talk to you, Dad. And talk to me, he did. <laughs> right, this... So, we're going to, like I say, I know I looked in the menu. I was going to take us to the shop, but I saw that other contract come up. And to be honest, it just made sense to do it this way. So if... Okay. Um... Did I accidentally press a button on my cosplay and make it not work properly? That would be correct. Yes, I did. Um, Gamepad friendly. Is it that one? You'll have to forgive me. I've, I've pressed up. There we go. Gamepad friendly. So we want first waypoint. We're going on here. We're going to go and do three headlands. We'll just do smooth corners because that should be more than enough. I do like to put a 25% on this. And we will start on, I think we'll start on the center. We'll generate that course there. We'll do that. And then we're going to go and do that. So he's going to go and start there. So we can start shopping. So we're going to go there. We're going to, these, this is the difference. We're just going to go for the Renault Agriculture 54TZ. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just, just that. Um, it can also have a front loader attacher on it. It can have a front three point. 100 brake horsepower. We have just bought a second tractor. So, there we go. I don't know why I'm going out there. There we go, guys. We have a second tractor. Oh, I can already feel that extra 15 brake horsepower. <laughs> That's all it is. 15 brake horsepower more. Um, oh, I, I do need to bring a number plate mod in on this series. So I don't keep using the same number plate. But it's kind of just default in me just to... Yeah. So now one of the next things I want to buy. I have a mod for a... Um... A bigger cedar basically i've got a four meter cedar now it does cost more money than what we've got um uh, with me i'm just going to go over here there we go i'm just going to fill that up from there i'm going to close that lid so this is now seven mile an hour faster let's just have a little look on the inside yeah it's got tinted windows all right it's not too shabby Look, it's not the best tractor in the world. We, we we don't have the money for the best tractors in the world at the moment. Oh my god, look how much quicker this is getting around. This is so much faster. It's got a very loud engine though, so I do apologise if it's a bit... Shouldn't have any difficulty in hearing me. Um, just because of the fact that... The way that I've set up OBS for recording, my mic should automatically lower the, the game volume. But sometimes it does still just not quite balance out if the engines are too loud. 
that's one of the reasons why I like sometimes I'll I'll zoom out like that do you know what I mean but I do just need to uh, lower that down in my ear because that is definitely a lot lot louder now this unfortunately is a massive drive for what I believe to be a very very small field so this very very small field is going to pay us approximately approximately a two thousand pound we already had the seed now we do need to be careful because we are running out we are going to be running low on seed we only had the one bag of seed um but i think sowing season is coming to an end if it is and there's no more sowing contracts to do over winter obviously i might look at selling the ice area because one it should give us some money back in the bank for winter and two when spring comes and we can replant we can buy a four meter spreader and a four meter spreader is just an extra meter on every single strip we do so every single contract should be basically a lot lot quicker done um we might even be able to buy like a, a six meter plow uh, six meter cedar sorry by then you know the, these are the plans this is the plan this is this is where we're looking at um, I am looking at that time and I am noticing he's maybe he's maybe not earning quite as much money as I would like But then again, I have got the, the time on five. So We'll whatever it's on we'll leave it. I'm not I'm not really fussed um, Maybe bump the wages up when we get a farm and the working for us and stuff Because the whole point of this is when we get our own farm, we shouldn't need to contract um but obviously once we've got a farm and some some fields to go with it but until then you know we are going to be doing quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of contracting even when we buy our first piece of land now i know people have pointed me in the direction for a couple of pieces of land and i have taken a look at those pieces of land and some of them some of them are really good there was like one for like five or six thousand pounds but it was literally the opposite side of the shop and i would like I say, not trying to piss on, you know, your information you gave me. I would just like something to get a little bit closer to the shop because we're still going to have to do contracts to begin with. Um, so it would be nice if we would just add something a little bit closer to the shop still. Yeah, I think one was down here, basically. And well, look, look how long it takes us to get here. You know what I mean? So... And if it takes us this long to get here in this tractor, imagine what the Leyland's going to be. Yes, we have a new tractor. We have finally earned enough money for a new tractor. Now, I do just want to double check what I'm planting in this field. And we are planting oak, which is fantastic because that is what is already on here. And there we go. It's not the biggest, it's not the biggest uh, field in the world. But it is still big enough to uh, maybe put this into a time lapse. Because I would like to crack on with this. I'd like to get our plow bought today as well. Um, ideally, I'd like to get the plow bought. We definitely don't have enough money as it stands. But we might need that cultivating contract to finish in order to uh, be able to afford it. Um, I've got a, th a nice little 3 meter plow. Um, 85 brake horsepower it requires. I can't remember if it was on the mod hub or if it was just off King's mod. Um, yeah, just I can't I, I can't remember, but yeah, so it's a little it's a little three meter John Deere, 85 brake horsepower. I didn't do anything to it; it was just defaulted at three meters, 85 brake horsepower. Um, but yeah, I'm, I want to get field 100 on with a plow. Um, that should keep the Leyland busy for a couple of episodes, to be honest. So we can basically go and do our own thing, and he can basically go and do it. I think he's going to pay us £13,000 to plough field. I think it's 100. It's either 100 or 47. It's one of them two. But he's going to basically pay us £13,000 to do that, which is why we need to get the plough bought straight away, really. Because um, it just makes... It just makes sense to to do it. Thirteen thousand pounds, but yeah, I'm gonna whack this into another time lapse, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy the epidemic music, 
and I'll uh, see you once we've finished this field. One hundred and nineteen finished. Um, yeah, um, the, the the contract's done. I'm just wasting time. Right. So that is going to give us quite a large bit of boost on the old income. Two thousand six hundred pound. We also have another so right. So build one hundred is actually a sewing contract. Um, which is right near the shop. So I've, I've been thinking about this during that time lapse. And I think that the Leyland is going to become our plowing slash cultivating tractor. Now, I know I did originally say I wanted to use the Renault for doing this. And I've been thinking about it. So, kind of listen to this plan. Tell me if you agree in the comments below. This Renault can have a front attacher. Okay? So... For example, we could attach this cedar to the front to drive around the map, yeah? Which means it can also pull the trailer with the seed, the fertilizer, the fertilizer spreader. Are you with me? We can take all our equipment with us. Apart from, we'd have to leave like one cultivator slash one plow at the shop. But everything else could be left at, uh, everything else can be taken with us now on the back and front of the Renault. All we have to do is drive to the shop now and get ourselves the uh, the front, you know, the front attacher, the, the, the front three point. Some people call it front attacher, some people call it three point. I know it's, you know, it's like personal preference. I do try and say names for the different people, you know, for, for what you guys call it. Um, plus to be honest, sometimes I just forget. Right, there was something else I was going to talk about as well in this episode. Look how nice my corn texture is. Um, I don't know if you remember, but some guy called, I think he was called Benji, released a corn texture. And basically you can put it in map mods and stuff and blah, blah, blah. It is also possible to put it actually as your default game files. It doesn't give the instructions on how to do that. Um... Well, basically, where you put it in a map mod to change the corn texture for that map, 
you basically put it in the same place or in the default files and it'll override the corn texture so any map that uses default corn textures in for me will now will now do that to will now do that corn texture now i am just driving to the shop guys um before we end because i just want to go and keep i just want to check on the uh, on the leyland see how she's performing um things like that we do need to get um, a little bit of a seed but what i also want to do with that we're not going to be in november in the next episode this leyland will finish this contract before the next episode um i'm trying to keep the series moving along a little bit we, we don't want to be in november too you know we don't want to be in the winter months too long and I don't want to be in like one month for like three episodes. We did that earlier on and people were really liking it. So we're going to try and do like one episode per per month. But I will leave the Leyland working in the background while I'm just editing this picture. Uh, this, this recording. Um, so he'll run the money down. I won't cash any contracts out. No, I tell you what. There is actually a bit of a bug on this game. Um, and let me tell you now, sometimes if you complete a contract and you leave the game, you may find if you didn't cash it out, it may disappear. Now, it doesn't happen all the time. I, I haven't had it happen on this map yet, but I haven't tested it. But what I might do is I might take a screenshot of the amount and I might test it just to see if it's going to happen on this map. Because I would like to cash the jobs in on recording. But if you think, oh... Your money's your money's gone up since the last episode, you know. So I, when I record tomorrow, if you guys are, oh, your money's jumped up, it's most likely I've just cashed that job in. That is all it's going to be. I'm not going to do any jobs off recording, but I will let jobs finish, so we can be in a new month. Um, so I've got a couple of things now. I want to buy another bag of seed because that bag of seed is probably going to be running a little bit on the low side so we'll just top that up there uh, we're just gonna lower that down i tell you what i liked about that field we've just done and it was the fact that um it was a low seed usage the entire time it was absolutely fantastic now let me just show you this plow so you guys know what i'm gonna be buying before you know because i'm gonna have the leyland set up for the next episode you see um i can never find these things uh here it is it's a 1610 3.3 pt ch chisel plow Ten thousand pounds i don't have enough money to buy this thing wow i don't have enough money well as you can see three meters 85 brake horsepower don't have enough power for that i could technically go for that one and we could put the renault doing it but again that's eighteen thousand pound we're not we're not quite in a position right now for eighteen thousand pounds but what i'm going to do i'm gonna go and put the front attacher on this like i just said because this is gonna this is gonna kind of speed some jobs up a little bit this is telling me the shop's closed why it does this to me every once in i'm not even near it i thought i was going to say why is he not doing it so basically we can upgrade the engine to 145 brake horsepower for a thousand pound that's a bit cheap might might pay a little bit more than that. that's a little bit too cheap um so we don't want to wait we don't all right let me have a look no we don't that was weird. So that's a 600 kilogram weight. Front attacher. There we go. Front attacher with PTO. That is going to cost me 350 pound. I'll, I'll leave the markers on for now. I'm I'm still getting used to where they all are on this one. I don't know if you ever notice on my roleplay saves, but I always put a different texture on the ground. I know it looks a little bit silly, but it's just because I forget where they are. Literally, I've got a terrible terrible memory right so if i do this now i should be able to in theory just go like this so for example now in the next episode 
we can I can't believe I think something's bugging out because my shop's not changed it's maybe because I'm not sleeping because I'm having to do it through the menu I don't think my shop's sleeping um yeah I just want to buy a bag of seed and then I've got one thing I just wanted to show you before the end of this episode now this is on the mod hub I have not changed the price in any way, but it's like setting us a little goal. It's a baby harvester. Um, if we look down here, we have the Gom Gomsel Mash GS575. It's £33,000. Now, it's only got a little capacity tank. Can go up to 155 rate on engine upgrade for free. What is it with engine upgrades? Not needing any any money um and then obviously on to go with it you would have it's only a four meter header but i think four meters would be a good size to go through the gates on this map so we'd be able to drive around with it on so what's that twelve thousand pound forty five thousand pound for a harvester and i would like to try and buy that before harvest season next year because harvest season next year just yeah it, it means we can harvest next year that's what i'm thinking um so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode all i'm gonna do off recording is i'm just gonna load that bag of seed that bag of fertilizer onto here and i'm just gonna basically wait for the leyland i'm gonna leave it on times five and uh yeah I hope, as I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, guys, please hit that like button. Um, it's massively important. It helps us push the video out to a wider audience. Um, if there's something you don't like in the episode, please say. It might be something that could be changed. I'm not saying it can be. I'm just saying it could be. You never know. It might be, you know, you might not like the way I've styled something or something like that. Or, But yeah, let me know. I mean, you know, I'm always open to, you know, like, constructive criticism just don't don't be a dick basically um but yeah join the discord as well guys if you're uh, interested in communicating all the mods that i repair and fix and stuff um i do post in the discord after i've repaired it i don't claim any of the mods as mine i just claim that i fix them especially if they're from king's mod because there's a lot of dodgy mods on there and i do go through them and slowly fix the ones i want to use um like this jcb from the uh polish pack now works 100 percent error free um but yeah be in the discord you'll find links posted in there as and when they're as and when they're done but thank you so much for watching this episode guys i do genuinely hope you've enjoyed it and until the next one i will see you all later on